So solve dy dx minus y equals to 2x. Now this is one of the linear equations uh, that they require to be solved by use of integrating factor. Uh, the linear equations are of, are of this form dy dx plus um, dy equals to, to q. So from this equation, this is uh, this is always the integrating factor, and the solution of this kind of equation is given by uh, is given by y times integrating factor equals to the integral of q dot integrating factor dx. So this is the solution of these linear equations. So when we be given equation is how us is to identify the integrating factor and we must know that integrating factor is given by exponent integral of b dx aha uh -huh. now from this information from here we shall realize that our our p equals to it will be negative one then our q equals to to x so if p is equals to negative 1, then we now need to get the integrating factor. The integrating factor is given by this. So first of all, we get the integral of p. Integral of p dx, this equals the integral of p is negative 1. Then dx. So this equals to, uh, when you integrate negative 1, then we shall be able to get negative, negative x. Therefore, the integrating factor, integrating factor will be equal to exponent minus minus x. That is the integrating factor. So once you get the integrating factor, then we are saying that the solution, the solution is given by this. This the solution. So we have y times integrating factor, which is exponent minus x is equals to the integral of q is q is x times integrating factor which is exponent minus x then dx then dx so once we have this um, we now need to integrate <coughs> so we shall say that uh, y dot exponent minus x equals to so we shall integrate this by use of um by by the use of uh, the the integration by parts the equation by part is given by uv equals to uv minus integral of um v du now this will be our x will be our u and exponent minus x will be our our dv therefore we shall say u equals to u, uh, u equals to x so du dx will be equal to 1 therefore du equals to dx and dv equals to exponent minus x so for us to get the value of v we integrate this equation on both sides so when you integrate dv you get v equals to when you integrate minus exponent minus x you get minus exponent minus x so once we have this we now insert in the integration by by parts formula which is uv minus that so we shall say that y dot exponent minus x equals to now our u here is is x our v is exponent minus x then minus integral of our v is now minus exponent minus x du equals to dx so this equals to minus x uh, minus x exponent minus x minus this comes it will be positive so the integral of exponent minus x then dx this equals to minus x exponent minus x plus so when you integrate exponent minus x you get minus exponent minus x then uh, plus a constant of of integration plus a constant of integration therefore we are saying uh, 
we are saying that uh, that y dot x prime x equals to minus x x prime minus x minus um, exponent minus x plus the constant of of integration. So y alone equals we divide through by exponent x. So we have minus um, x exponent minus x minus exponent x plus c over exponent exponent x. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.